Hey folks, it's us, podcasting wonderkins John Bishop and Lucas Southworth. Although this is a podcast about cars, it is not age-appropriate for the target demographic of these films, as we usually end up talking about the reproductive organs of Lightning McQueen. Alright, now let's take a look under the hood. everyone, and welcome to the Kachat, the only podcast brave enough to ask the questions, hey, what's up with Mater? And also, hey, what's up with Tomater? Also, what's up with cars? I understand what you do when you, like, change the our little catchphrase. To, and like, I'm make John it, Bishop. Make it work for the episode, but I do like it when our catchphrase is at the beginning, and I'm Lucas Southworth. And if you couldn't hear him, he's John Bishop. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. So, so this week we're de- well, we're delving into uh, we're delving into Mater, Two Mater, Toe Mater. Hmm. <laughs> There's something. Yes, John is right. For the longest time, I would say ever since we watched the Mater's Tall Tales is probably when this uh, theory of ours originated, which would have been like I don't know episode twenty. We have had the theory. That Mater is some lord of chaos. He is uh, unto a god and has godlike powers. And like we expand on that every once in a while and throw things under it and oftentimes use it to sweep things under the rug. Like, I don't know, maybe Mater did it with his god powers. Mm -hmm. But we've never like really done a full episode on it besides, again, probably time travel Mater. All right. So, uh, what inspired today's episode, Lucas? Well, John, on Twitter, we got uh, some messages from someone who only identifies themselves as Jay, uh, and they asked uh, if we would do a full episode on Mater. Like he, they said, let me find it here. Uh, Listening to what you think about God King Mater, it would make sense he's a kind of Loki figure in the Cars world. Could you make an episode on that? And then later in here, th- this message from Jay is why I decided, yes, this is actually what we're doing this week. They have let us know that, and I guess this is kind of the wiki quote of the week, of the day. Give me that someone else found it of the week. <laughs> they sure did. So thank you for doing our job for us, Jay. They sent us a message saying, I just looked at the Pixar Cars fandom wiki and saw something strange. There is a Mater page and a Toe Mater page. And I went and double-checked this because it it was beyond belief that the Cars wikis could have so such an agrarious mistake. Uh, and Agrarious? Yeah, that's not it. Egregious? Egregious. A, uh, such an agrarian mistake, uh, such a farming-related mistake. Uh, <laughs> such an it Aquarius is, mistake. Yep, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. That's a hair reference for you folks. Uh, but it is true. There is uh, both a Pixar cars.fandom.com slash wiki slash toe underscore mater and a Pixar cars.fandom.com slash wiki slash mater. And that is deeply interesting to me. And that's why I want to talk about. <laughs> and let's let's just think about that statement for a moment. Mm-hmm. You are a 26-year-old man. <laughs> okay, I see where this and is And you find it deeply interesting <laughs> that Disney Pixar's uh, fan wiki has a page for Mater and Toe Mater. Deeply interesting, you say. One of many Pixar Cars wikis has this. One of the less used ones, too, I would say. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, And let's get this straight. Yeah. And I, another 
26 uh-huh. year old man heard you say this and immediately thought you're right that is so interesting <laughs> yes okay that's good i figured it was the case but i'm never sure to what level the, this podcast has broken our respective brains uh so as long as we're on the same track there i think we're good <laughs> i mean you on this episode john good in a sense if we're crazy it's together <laughs> Yeah, very bad in some other pretty important senses, but mm-hmm. hey, we're going to work with what we got, folks. All right, so let's do it. Was there an accompany image, sir? There was. A, this is sort of a different thing, not relating to the two different maters, but in specific, God King Mater. They did send us in the background of the courtroom scene from cars the first cars uh there is a depiction of lady justice as a tow truck holding the scales of justice Mm -hmm. so they sent that as supplementary proof that uh maybe tow trucks in general are of a higher race which thinking about it do we see any other tow trucks in cars john that you can think of Oh, there's the blue one. That's Mater again. No, the blue one from Cars 2. <laughs> yes. I don't think the whole we're going to spend the whole episode dedicated to the fact that Mater and Toe Mater may be two separate entities. But especially just because <laughs> our evidence is, again, one wiki anywhere, mm-hmm. as them listed on two separate pages. And we can't spend that much time on the idea of tow trucks, as tow trucks are just a thing that lemons use to get around. Yeah, there there is a a tow truck mater impersonates in Cars too, so there are other uh, tow trucks out in the world, and he incapacitates this other tow truck pretty easily. So I wouldn't think that he's a god. I think even uh, Holly Shiftwell does it. So it's not even you know god on god violence. It's Holly Shiftwell just takes him out. Mm -hmm. But as we've Mm -hmm. seen with the Avengers, uh, a super secret spy can easily take on Thor. Oh, wait, that hasn't happened because that would be crazy. It hasn't. Uh, Yeah, I think Black Widow and or Hawkeye could certainly not immediately die in a conflict with Thor. Hawkeye almost killed Thor. Yeah, no. But it yeah. was in his human form. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Iron Man becomes stronger when struck by Thor's lightning. So there we go. And Captain America is just worthy. So if he gets his hand on that hammer, it's all over, folks. Or it's. Oh, actually, I'll say it's just begun. But okay. Okay. We gotta. We uh, we gotta focus up here. We gotta focus, which is incredibly hard to do right now. You got a lot of babies and dogs and cats running around, I, I hear. My dog is eating my cat. Ah, well, yeah, that's understandable if you need to deal with that. Well, the thing is, uh, as much as I try and get Bella to stop eating the cat, the cat wants to be eaten. And you know, who are you to tell her she's wrong? Or he's wrong? I, I, am, I am but a man <laughs> trying to prevent Bo from being eaten. By Bella. That's beautiful. Bo and Bella Bishop. But the reason (laughs) I think we found Mater and Toe Mater being separate entities so interesting is because we've always had an issue with the Mater-Toe Mater discrepancy. Because in the first Cars movie, Mater introduces himself as, Hi, I'm Mater, like Toe Mater, but without the Toe. And... On his sign, it says Toe Maters, but like, that's not enough evidence that his name is Toe Mater to me. Like, that could be the name of his business, and he says his name is Mater, like nothing before it. He he says there's no T at the beginning, and he's making a joke on tomato. I understand, mm-hmm. but he very spe- specifically specifies his name is just Mater, and. Also, think about what that implies. Think about what that implies. Tomatoes exist. What if my name was 
okay. engineer bishop. That'd be weird, man. His parents named him after what he is. What if I was just boy bishop? I mean, there are people named Guy. Yep. <laughs> and and have you ever met a? Okay, I'm gonna make a very bold statement, All right. and this will be the official uh, stance of half of this podcast. But have you ever met a guy that you actually respected? Because I haven't. Because I've never met a guy. I mean, if we're ta- if I'm allowed to uh, include Might Guy from Naruto, then absolutely. Well, of course you can't count Might Guy because then I would obviously respect him. I mean, obviously he's the greatest taijutsu user to ever live. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if we're not counting him, then I've also never met a person named Guy. I just know it's a name. Mm-hmm. So fair. The official stance of the podcast is neither of us have ever met a person named Guy who we respected. But we both like Might Guy from Naruto. Uh, I I I definitely would say that, but also I feel like maybe that's not enough because, boy howdy, I've got a lot of nostalgic feelings about Rock Lee and Might Guy. They're very I good. I used to get called Bushy characters. Brows, and I didn't mind. Right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we, we can't we we can't john i know the energy's off we're recording on a monday for god's sake uh but we can do this and i'm uh, desperately trying to cough away from the direction of the microphone i appreciate your efforts <laughs> but, but then in subsequent movies after the first cars movie he is explicitly called toe mater uh mm-hmm. specifically the Queen of England knights him as Sir Tomater. So from that point on, it is definitely, definitely his canonical name is Tomater. But I just don't see the evidence that his name was Tomater in the first one. And I'm sure there was probably some supplementary materials, <laughs> uh, released books, toys, etc. that had him listed as Tomater but I haven't seen those with my eyes and I have seen cars with my eyes. So well, think of the alliteration that they chose not to have. It's not toe Mater's tall tales. It's Mater's tall tales. Yeah. Like even after the fact, after they've definitely made his name be toe Mater, they don't really use that. Like if you go on Wikipedia, which I did before this, the page is just called Mater, but if you look under it, it lists him as Sir Toe Mater, which, gosh, I gotta respect Wikipedia <laughs> respecting his knighthood. Mm-hmm. Just class act stuff. <laughs> but, okay, but how do you think the actual Queen of England feels about that? I think she thinks it's great, and that she watched Cars 2. One, that that's just a point of my thing, is that the Queen of England has seen Cars 2. Mm-hmm. Of course. And two, that she thought Mater was a hero and that she saw an early cut where he wasn't knighted and she said, no, no, no. I want him to be knighted in real life and in the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, fair enough. This is this is a reminder to future Lucas when you're editing this. The queen is not in great health right now. Make sure that nothing is broken bad with that. Yep. <laughs> and edit that last bit out if, if need be. <laughs> Yes, if we're very sad, make sure to get rid of that. Yes. Uh, and also this thing I'm about to say, which is, sure. uh, hey, Al, uh, if you're listening, get back to us. How does the queen feel about it? Yes, please. Al, tell us how the queen feels about Tomater. See, I even did it just then. I'm sure it's public knowledge for every British citizen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I guess the theory is either A, There are two separate entities who both exist within the Carsverse, one named Mater, one named Tomater. B, at some point in between Cars and Cars 2, Mater was replaced by a different entity named Tomater. Or, I don't know, maybe Mater just started going by Tomater. Uh, There are a few more options. I will give you... Yeah, go ahead. uh, Mater has a new cool friend who sees the sign Toe Maters and assumes his name is Toe Mater. And because he's mm. the cool new friend, 
Mater was too nice to ever correct him. So he just started going by Toe Mater. Uh, okay. Another thing is that if he is, in fact, a Loki-esque figure, he's variant. That could be fun. I like variant Toe Mater versus Mater. Uh, there's also, uh, I forgot to mention this one, but this was definitely one. Could be a Jekyll and Hyde situation. Mm. Or a Franz and his other one from Planes situation. Okay. So, uh, Mater is, of course, the more wild and violent version of Tomater, because Sir Tomater has been knighted and is official. But Mater is the one who uh, destroys farms by tractor tipping and basically wanted to steal the body of Lightning McQueen in a short that never got released. Yeah. And you're very right in pointing out that it isn't Tomater's Tall Tales. It mm -hmm. is, in fact, Mater's Tall Tales. So th our biggest evidence for Mater being uh, a god king does come from Mater's Tall Tales, specifically the ones where he flies and the ones <laughs> where he travels through time and mm -hmm. transmogrifies people to, on his whims. you all mm -hmm. got to watch Mater's Tall Tales. Yep. See, there aren't that many things that we suggest you watch for this podcast. But if you want to watch Major Salt Tales, uh, we're all for that. That is a good idea. Actually, my, my number one recommendation is the Radiator Springs 500 and a half because it has a canonical ghost in it and they drive through a graveyard. <laughs> it does confirm that uh, Radiator Springs is in fact haunted. Which, like, I don't know, what are you going to do with that? But Major Stall Tales are a, a very good option, too. Mm -hmm. All right. So that means yeah. that going by this, uh, we can assume that both characters are telling the truth. When Lightning says that never happened, uh, he's telling the truth. Toe Mater and Lightning never did that. It was Mater and Lightning. Okay. Or maybe it was just Mater and McQueen. Okay, so you're suggesting... Mm, okay. You're suggesting that the lightning we see participating in the tall, tall Tales after he denies having done so is not the same lightning we know and love. It is the lightning we know and love. It is not the variant who actually participated. Okay, so there, there are also multiple Lightning McQueens. Mm -hmm. It is the long and short of it. Yes. I like that, but my only gripe with it is usually how the joke goes is uh, Mater or Lightning will say, Mater, that never happened. And Mater will go, well, shoot, you would know you was there. And then it cuts back into the, the tall tale with Lightning there going, what? <laughs> As if he's just been inserted into it. Far better. Far better. Uh, that is the process of one of the variant Lightning McQueens being taken by Mater. Okay, I do like that. <laughs> we are not watching a story where someone is telling a story. We are watching a story where someone is creating a story. Yeah. They are creating the events, and we are watching them unfold as they are actually happening in real time. Fascinating. This is deeply fascinating stuff, John. <laughs> uh, I do... Okay. I think there is an important thing I want to get to uh, back into... Hey, we're diving back into the wiki quote of the day. Sort of the whole episode is the wiki quote of the day when it comes down to it, but... This, we are going over to the wiki for this one. All right. So before you go on to that wiki quote of the day, giving us that good, good uh, Wikipedia information. So I was thinking uh, something even more funny about all of this. Uh, there's, of course, Loki. There's variants. And then there's Kang the Conqueror. What would Mater's title be? Perhaps... Mater the Greater? I mean, that's what my mind went to immediately. I don't know if we're going to do anything better than that. Mater the... I mean, murderer's right there, but that don't feel great. Uh, 
Mater the Masochist? Mater the... <laughs> Could be. Mater the Magnificent, if we want to uh, make it a little bit better. It's not quite on par with Conqueror, hmm. but it's not quite Masochist or Murderer either. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so give me that very delayed wiki quote of the day. All right. Now, I went and I looked at these two pages, the Mater page and the Toe Mater page, and I did some in-depth technological stuff to show me every difference in between the two pages. And by that, I mean I googled how to tell difference between two web pages and plugged it into the first result. And these two pages are almost exactly identical but almost (laughs) yes uh everything in like the body of the two pages are the exact same but you know how in uh wikis specifically like fandom.com wikis there's usually a thing on the side for characters that's like tomater gender male make etc stuff like that of course like a little character box Mm mm-hmm There are a couple very tiny differences between these two things, but I think they could be important. Uh, And they are both, both of them are things Mater has, but Toe Mater doesn't have included. Okay. The first, the first is Mater has a little section that says engine full on V8. Toe Mater doesn't have any information on his engine whatsoever. Okay, but um, as as you are the only one who would know this of the two of us, because, well, let's face it, which one of us has a job that pertains to cars? It's you. Um, sure. What's the difference between a V8 and a full-on V8? John, I couldn't tell you. I think they may have just put it in there, and okay. they don't know themselves. <laughs> but I think... Even more importantly, Mater has a section entitled Allies, in which it lists Lightning McQueen, Sally Carrera, Lizzie Finn, Holly Shiftwell, etc. Mm-hmm. Toe Mater does not have that section whatsoever. They both have identical sections labeled Enemies. <laughs> but whereas Mater has Allies, Toe Mater has no Allies. Well, that's deeply upsetting ain't it <laughs> see i like where we went with tomater is the not com- not uh chaotic one and mater is but based on this alone when i came in i was thinking the inverse mm-hmm. okay um well think about it this way what kind of normal person says i have allies that's fair enough <laughs> What kind of normal person needs allies? Like, a normal person can have enemies, but does a normal person have allies? I mean, I just don't know, Johnny. That's a good question. And if they do, where can I get some allies? Hey, you got one right here, bud. How about that? So you'll join me in my uh, adventures, in my quest to conquer the uh, known universe? Uh, Depends on the terms of our Treaty of Alliance, uh, which we need to fill out, but we'll do that after the fact. How about that? All right. Uh, You get Switzerland. How about we do a protectorate treaty, where (laughs) if anyone attacks you, I will come to your aid, but if you start the war, I don't have to. That's what I kind of want. Okay, but that seems more like a like a like a truce rather than an ally but uh, okay john i've played a lot of civilization six in my day i know what how to get a good deal on treaties and that's the deal i want oh yeah well i've played maybe 30 minutes of crusader kings and i created a character man crusader kings sounds like a game i would love if i already knew everything about it but absolutely (laughs) Having to learn everything about it is not something I'm going to do. I've also tried, and 
sort of conquered most of Ireland for a while and was like, I just, I don't know how I did this. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Okay. So, Mater is, of course, the one with allies? Yes. And an engine that and we know about. <laughs> Whereas Toe Mater just has enemies and no engine. <laughs> seemingly which again would make me think he is the one with god powers if he doesn't need an engine now maybe he has one and we just don't know anything about it or at least fix our cars.phantom.com does it okay <laughs> but, or maybe maybe uh it's it's to get you off his scent maybe he doesn't actually have an engine and he just tells people he does well john we're sort of basing most of this episode on just fully buying into what the wiki says, you know? Mm-hmm. So I don't think we can assume he's lying and also continue assuming based on this wiki having two <laughs> two mater pages that there are two maters. You know, I don't think we can do, have our cake and eat it too like that. Okay, but what if? What if? Okay. It's, uh... Oh, shoot, I can't even remember what they're called. What's the thing when it's a puzzle but it's like in the code and you have to figure it out. A uh, uh, riddle? I don't know, man. ARG? Is that it? Yeah, an altered reality game? Yes. What if it's an ARG and we're supposed to assume that he's got a thrall and the thrall is the Wikipedia guy? That could be it. We often do uh, say Mater does have some sort of vampiric thrall abilities based on the fact that Mater's been a vampire before. Mm -hmm. And according to the Dresden files, there are very okay. different kinds of thralls. And uh, sure. this could be a case where he just uh, goes berserk and makes someone like uh, a Renfield, who is just a person who is doomed to go crazy and be violent. But that's not this, because this is something far more delicate. So this is some really intense work done by Mater in order to obfuscate the truth. And we have to figure out the truth by knowing the small differences. And the differences so far, one of them has an engine. One of them has allies. They are the same one. One of them who has are, an engine and allies. Who are the allies? That's the key. Who are the allies? Okay, there are several. Do you want me to just read them? Lightning McQueen. Yeah. Sheriff. Yeah, he's on there. Sally. She's on there, yeah. Mia and Tia is an interesting one because... I don't know that the relationship they have, I would consider an alliance. Uh, a thrall is your ally. Okay. <laughs> um, Holly Shiftwell? Holly Shiftwell, and then it says in parentheses, girlfriend. Oh. Oh my. All right. So, it'd be weird if Holly was on there and, uh, you know. Finn McMissile? Yeah, I kept thinking uh, Sir Miles Axelrod, and I kept knowing that that was the wrong answer. Yeah, he's up in enemies. Mm -hmm. I'll also say, and I don't know that this is anything, but I don't know that any of this episode is anything. Miss Fritter is in the allies section twice. Oh. Double ally. And I don't know that we've ever seen them meet, at least. <laughs> in the story of Cars 3, they certainly don't. Maybe in some supplementary stuff. <laughs> Uh, you, you have seen the training camp, correct? So of the two of us, I believe you would know. I don't know what to call it. The school, but not school. But also it's a, it's a ride, but it's not a ride. It's an attraction. Oh, the one in Disney World that I saw? Yeah. That was, that was a Lightning McQueen thing. But both Mater and Miss Fritter did show up. And Miss Fritter does show up in Pixar Popcorn in Radiator Springs. And uh, Mater's probably there somewhere in True. the background. All right. Do we want to talk about Mater's teeth that we think give him or are the sign of his power? Well, we do have that wonderful quote. Yeah. But you... the problem is. Yeah. He says it's the shape. He does, in fact, say, let me, let me, I have my notes here somewhere. Uh, the exact quote we're talking about, and we mentioned this last episode in our Cars 3 episode, is Lightning says, Mater, you're brilliant. And Mater replies, well, you know, it's all about the shape of your teeth. Which I sure hope 
that's not the case. I do too. <laughs> Just in real life or in the cars first, that seems mm-hmm. pretty arbitrary. <laughs> pretty arbitrary, and I don't know where I would fall on that line. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't be completely powerless, but I wouldn't be as powerful as Mater. True. And at a certain point, would you want to be? I don't know that I would, Johnny. No one man should take all of them showers. You know, no one man should pick all them flowers. Do you remember the original reason why we said that it was his teeth? Because I do not. (laughs) Were we just grasping at straws and noticed a thing that was different about Mater? We've noticed maybe two characters who have uh, separate teeth. And Mater is one of them. And I think the other one also just happens to have some sort of substantial uh, upsetting thing about them. Ooh, I will say, because I was just thinking about this, Miss Fritter, she's got articulated teeth, and... It's why they're allies. Yeah, I don't think that's evidence against. I think if we're talking about powerful characters, Miss Fritter is close to the top of the list. Mm Mm-hmm. She's very powerful, and so much so that despite being a bus completely on its side, she's able to get up when so many other people could not even try. She's also got a stop sign saw blade, and I know we always talk about the stop sign saw blade, but it's just very wild, and I need you to know that the bus has a stop sign saw blade. Mm -hmm. Like, she's a battle bot, uh, which is also what we always say about it. (laughs) Yep. All right. So, Miss Fritter. Yeah. uh, Lightning does not, but he now knows two separate people that have uh, endangered his well-being who may have some sort of secret tooth-based power. So, yes, yes, yes. does lightning have some sort of magical god armor? I mean, we've seen him be a god in Tokyo Mater. So maybe, maybe his armor is just being buds with light, with uh, Mater. You know, Mater has said, this mortal is under my protection. Uh, and has given him a boon of some sort. Okay, but Mater has also been one to endanger him at so many times. But he's never killed him. And Hasn't I he, think, though? Well, yeah. You no, know, he has specifically <laughs> kind of killed him in the Mater the Greater stunt episode because <laughs> the ending of that one is lightning jumps the canyon and everyone goes, well, what happened? Did he make it? And Mater goes, you didn't make it. <laughs> Very sadly. So, yeah, I guess Mater has maybe killed Lightning McQueen before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Mater has killed Lightning and also turned him into a Lightning-based deity. I think maybe the argument is that Lightning isn't allowed to die. Mm -hmm. Because Mater's not done with him yet. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the tone we've always taken on Lightning and Mater's relationship. Is Mater will release him when he's good and ready, and spoiler alert, Mater will never be ready. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, Mater will let Lightning age. He will let him suffer the consequences of his own uh, just natural processes and mistakes. But will he ever die? Because, let's face it, uh, that being torn asunder should have killed him. Yeah, the Cars 3 crash, as we've said several times. If that doesn't kill a car, what does? Because, yeah, sure, Doc is another person who had a bad crash that made it. But also, Doc wasn't going nearly as fast. Yeah, Doc was a very very much lower powered car on dirt yeah like the crashes while visually similar between lightning and doc are not that similar in what actually happened to their bodies i gotta imagine and you can say what you will about uh well there's crumple zones there's all these things to help uh cars survive but the reason you have a crumple zone in a car that's a modern car is to keep alive the people inside the car, not to protect the car. Yeah. In fact, crumple zones are a reason that cars are much easier to total nowadays. It's 
safer for people, but an older car is more likely to survive. So not only is he more likely to survive because he's a, a stronger, sturdier, just hunk of steel, but he also wasn't going nearly as fast. So lightning has two good reasons to be dead. And you could say, well, the crumple zones helped protect him and he just had his body rebuilt. But you can't have that much extensive work done in this world because just the idea of making a new engine was absolutely ludicrous for a uh, dusty crop hopper until a mad scientist did it. Yeah, I think I think you some the way you said it was perfect. Lightning is not allowed to die. Uh, so says Mater. <laughs> Which, man, that sucks for Lightning, I guess, but kind of doesn't in other ways. But, like, if you've watched an episode of The Twilight Zone, really sucks for Lightning. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I've, I've got something I want to lay down for you, John. We've very, very, very briefly mentioned the idea of Mater variants. Mm-hmm. How do we feel about Miss Fritter being a Mater variant? Very um, good. Yeah. The, the teeth are the main thing, but there is a very dumb reason I want it to be a thing is because she's got those weird horns on her, and those remind me of Loki's horn helmet. Okay, okay. Nice. And I know that Mater doesn't have that, but I don't know. I just I want Miss Fritter. To, I like that she's got Loki horns, and we're saying Mater is Loki. And that Miss Fritter is a variant of Mater. So there, that's what we're saying. All right. So we think the teeth are like a surefire sign of it then? See, you, you say things and then I'm like, okay, but what do all of the Loki variants have? And it's horns. That's true. Now, Mater doesn't have horns. Again, a very important <laughs> note to make. But I'm going to ask you a question and I'm not looking at a picture right now, so I don't know the answer to it, but... What kind of mirrors does Miss Fritter have? Let's see here. I'm going to have to be doing some Google sleuth in here. I got to imagine it's just, you know, school bus mirrors, but I'm not actually seeing mirrors on her period. Oh, no. Which seems incorrect. Maybe they're just hidden by her, you know, weird horns, (laughs) but I don't see them, no. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there is. Fascinating. Oh boy. So well, yeah, that means nothing. (laughs) Yeah, I liked where you were going because if they both had the big bucket mirrors, that would have been great evidence. Yep. Uh, But I guess I was imagining those horns were somehow the mirrors. Man, memory is a strange thing, ain't it? So, (laughs) must be the teeth are actually (laughs) the defining. Uh, feature that all Mater variants have. Gosh, I wish I remembered who that other person with weird teeth was. Mm-hmm. And uh, for those of you wondering, why don't we just look up Car's teeth? It's a good reason. I don't want to do that. that. Yeah, that sounds spooky. I don't want. I don't want to know. Have we done it before? Yes. Yes. It's no good. It's no good. Uh, I was hoping it was Celine the headlight sales saleswoman, but it wasn't because that would be very good if she was a Mater variant. Mm, Ooh, but I will Easter say buggy. the Easter buggy. Yes. I was looking mm-hmm. at my die cast, the Easter buggy being, and the Easter buggy also has weird horn things uh, that represent their ears. So yes, the Easter buggy is another Mater variant. You know what? Forget it. Uh, Mater's horns are just his bucket mirrors. There you go. There you go. I'm going to, Image search Mater just to make sure there isn't anything better than that, but I think that that probably is the best thing. Yeah, the bucket mirrors are going to be it. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. All right. So, yeah. Mater variants are the characters who have uh, separate teeth and also something akin to horns. And, John, I'm pretty sure this is probably why you brought up the idea of Mater variants to begin with, but we're seeing, you know... Rescue Squad Mater. He labels the episodes of Mater's Tall Tales like, oh, this is Tokyo Mater. This is Air Mater. This is Moon Mater. Mater the Greater, etc. So, yeah, I think they all might just be Mater variants. (laughs) 
And maybe, okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe Mater is like Mater Prime, you know? Mm -hmm. He is the... Lucas, I'm so sad. Okay, go ahead. The Easter buggy only has one tooth. Has buck teeth. Let me see. No, there's a line separating the two teeth. Are you sure? I'm They're not seeing it. They are next to each other, but there is a line indicating that they are two separate teeth. Uh, okay. I'm seeing. I'm, I'm looking at my my, at my diecast right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, there's a line. So, Easter buggy's good. I don't want to give up the Easter buggy. I'd sooner die, John. Uh, <laughs> but... All right. What was the, what was the point I was making before that? Do you remember all the different Mater's Tall Tales or Mater variants? Mater is Mater Prime, so he can access the memories of all the Mater variants, maybe? And that's how he can tell the Tall Tales? Or maybe he's like, well, maybe he's the Watcher. <laughs> okay, I think we have made this also comparison recently-ish. Probably. It sounds like us. <laughs> it would, okay. He could also be the TVA, like mm -hmm. from Loki. Maybe he is out there. He watches these stories that his variants do with their version of Lightning McQueen, uh, gets a chuckle out of them, and then clips their timeline and ends <laughs> their existence. So every every single episode of Major's Tall Tales, we're watching everyone be killed. <laughs> yes, when he stops talking. But he stops telling the tall tale, and like the uh, the main deviant from Eternals, he steals their powers, <laughs> and that's how he shows that he the they actually happened at the end of each episode, mm -hmm. or the end of each short is a more correct way to say it, I guess. Okay, so he's just collecting all these powers. And one of those just happened to have been a Thor. So that's neat. That's neat. And John? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. John? Okay. Mm -hmm. In the Loki TV show, if Loki is just a Mater variant, you know who Loki's got right there with him? Who, who's that? He's got the O-Dog himself right there, John. What? <laughs> Owen Wilson's right there. <laughs> Owen Wilson is in... <laughs> is Okay, I can't I was... remember his name. What is his name in the series? I liked this character. Oh, Morbius? Morbius. Uh, is just a Lightning McQueen variant. Is it Morpheus or Morbius? I don't know. Loki, Owen, Wilson. Mobius. Mobius. Yeah. Morbius. Morbius is, is the spooky Batman. Spooky Batman. Morpheus is... Uh, uh, why can't I think of his name? Something. I know what you're talking about. Morpheus Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Too many things named similarly, but yes. I'm still saying Mater is Mater Prime. And okay, Loki, Mater is Mater Prime. Loki is a variant of Mater. Not the other way around. It's so important that that's the truth. Or I'll walk and, away from this podcast right now. And also, Tomater is the variant that is allowed to live. Tomater is the one who's just kind of normal, I guess. Mm -hmm. He hasn't broken the timeline yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Mm -hmm. now. But we, we did say that Mater was also this universe's Kong the Conqueror. Mm. Well... Uh, we take that back. <laughs> he's both. It? He's both of them. He's Loki and Kong. Who cares? Kong is a Loki variant. <laughs> Canon. <laughs> okay. Is it Kong or Kang? I never know. It's Kang. Kang. Okay. Well, there we go. I mean, you could say it's Kong. Who knows? Maybe that's just a variant. You mm -hmm. know? It's... <laughs> Most of them are Kang, but they say, no, you could pronounce it both ways, so I just pronounce it Kong. Thank you. All right. So uh, he is Loki. He is Kang. He is Mater. He is Tomater. And most importantly, he is uh, Heavy Metal Mater. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, you're absolutely right. Heavy Metal Mater is Mater Prime. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dagum, as he would say. Uh boy. John, I have uh, a segment that will only go for the next, I don't know, maybe two or three episodes that I would mm-hmm. like to introduce. Let's do it. I don't have a name for it, but I've been workshopping the name. Lucas's mom got him a Cars-themed advent calendar, and Lucas tells you what he got in it. All right. Give me a second. <laughs> you don't... You, this doesn't have to be a thing you do. It's a different segment from the wiki quote, so you don't have to do your thing that you do with the wiki quote. And on the sixth day of Christmas, your true love gave to you? My true love being this car's advent calendar. Absolutely accurate, yes. Mm-hmm. But I'll just give you a round, rundown of the first almost week of items I've received. So the theme of this advent calendar is that at the end of it, you got yourself a full... Uh, Christmas themed cars playset. <laughs> so I'm getting little bits and pieces of that every day, which is very, very fun. So day one, open this sucker up. Who do I see? Who else? Lightning McQueen, mm-hmm. of course. And he's got some nice details on him. Instead of his normal yellow lightning bolt, he's got a green lightning bolt to make him red and green. The Christmas colors. Uh, His tires are also white instead of black, and there is like a bit of white detailing on his sides as if he's kicking up snow. Uh, Oh, that's fun. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Uh, And then on subsequent days, I don't remember the order of these. I got a tiny Christmas present, a tiny gas pump, four out of six of the pieces of the track uh, that they will go on, a stack of white tires that are, let me tell you, significantly bigger than Lightning's tires, but not so big that they couldn't be like tractor tires or something. Okay. And then, of course, today I did get Tomater, <laughs> which it's a sign, folks. Mm-hmm. I got Mater, I guess. Maybe, or I, who knows what variant this one is? Mm-hmm. Tiny Toy Mater is, I guess, this variant. He also has the white detailing, as if snow. Uh, And yeah, I'm very excited to keep going. I know I'm going to get a little red, the fire truck, at some point. Very excited about that. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I'm also going to get uh, a Christmas tree made out of traffic cones. And I'm very excited for that. (laughs) So keep checking back in for this exciting content. Uh, Only in the segment, Lucas's mom got him a Cars-themed advent calendar, and he tells you what's in it. All right, all right. I think I may have gotten that word perfect exactly the same the way I said it the first time. Future Lucas, indicate if that's true somehow with like a ding, ding, ding sound from Price is Right or a you got the answer wrong sound from Price is Right. (laughs) I'm going to regret that when I edit this, but not Mm -hmm. right now. All right. I had a question. I have forgotten said question. No, it's incredibly important. I need you to answer this with the utmost of seriousness. Got it. Do you believe that that snow decal is a decal that is painted onto them? Or is it to represent actual snow that they are playing in? I think the intent of the the set is that it is is representing they are playing in the snow. Like, it's clearly, in real life, just painted onto them. Yes. But, like, sometimes, uh, I don't know how to... Sometimes the setting is a part of the toy in a way that it wouldn't make sense outside of a set. No, yeah, it, it does not make sense outside of the set. If you don't know they're playing in the snow, it just looks kind of weird. Yeah. Is that what you're kind of getting at? Well, it's more just uh, that could be true and they still were painted weirdly. Like, I've got some white markings on my car and I don't know where it's from. But it looks like I'm playing in the snow, I guess. Also, I'll say this is a part of uh, Lucas's mom got him a Cars-themed advent calendar and he tells you what's in it. The segment. Uh, I'll tell you which one has been my favorite in the 
since we, I last told you about it. This week, I'll say it's hard not to say Mater or Lightning because they're the ones that actually function as toys mm-hmm. that I can like roll around on stuff. Which of the four track pieces is your favorite? They're identical because they're the four turns in the track. Mm-hmm. Uh, so track piece specific, I'll say top left. And okay. mind you, you could put any one of them in the top left. So mm-hmm. uh, and then since we're doing our Mater episode today, I'll say Mater's my favorite. Okay. But okay. check back next week <laughs> for another exciting edition of Lucas's mom got him in uh, a Cars themed advent calendar and he tells you what's in it. All right. Even if I didn't say it that way the first time, I definitely said it exactly that way the subsequent three times. Mm-hmm. So. And if he did, here's the sound. Bam! Just like that. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. A winner! Just like that. We'll be right back with our price is right. Don't go away. You're welcome for that, Lucas. I guess if I've already found and imported the sounds, like, unless I got one right and one wrong, it won't be an issue. But if I did do, do one right, one wrong, it will be more work for me. Oh, well, sorry, future Lucas. I won't ask you to do anything next week, I promise. All right. So, Mater. He is Toe Mater, but he's not Toe Mater. And he's not even the Prime Mater. The Prime Mater is, of course, Heavy Metal Mater. Now, (laughs) uh, is that because music is magic? Or is it just because uh, Dagon? I think it's because we thought it was funny. (laughs) Probably. See, Uh, that's it still gets me. That it's dad gum instead of dagum. Yeah, they certainly do write it out in every like official capacity as dad gum, which is but, deeply troubling. But if you do need a last minute stocking stuffer for your dad, why not try dad gum? <laughs> yeah, and exciting flavors like golf. Sport. That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And stale coffee. Do we have much more to say about God King Mater that we haven't said a hundred times? Well, we do not. We do not. Short episode this week? Short episode this week. Hell yeah, it's coming out on Tuesday anyway. You're fine. Nice. My throat this past week. I'm sorry, bud. This Maybe it'll be good to end a bit early, let you rest that, those golden pipes of yours. Woo! Speaking of, this is the end of the podcast. Thank you all so much for listening, and specific thanks to Jay uh, for sending us this on Twitter. If you have a more specific name that you would like us to correct this with in subsequent episodes, let us know, but if you'd like to be referred to as just Jay, that's also A-OK Coolio Beans. Uh, But yes, thank you to Jay for sending us evidence of separate entities in between Mater and Tomater. And if you'd like to be like Jay or any of our other wonderful people who have sent us things over these, I was going to ironically say years, but then I realized that was accurate and it made me feel things. Over these decades? There we go. Over these decades and decades of podcasting we've been doing, you can do so uh, either by sending us an email at the kachat, uh, the kachat at gmail.com or you can tweet at us or apparently DM us and it'll get through. I didn't actually know if that was true or not <laughs> at our Twitter, which is at the Kachat. Now John's going to say his stuff. And if you listen close, you may hear his baby in the background. Weeping. Absolutely. Uh, he's a hungry boy. Well, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, rate, review, tell anyone and everyone you can about this kooky, quirky, strange, fun little podcast. And uh, until next time, remember to float like a Cadillac. And sting like a beamer. Tiny robot armies take-